So, you've sucked up story mode dry and get a monthly allowance of one new character a month. What do you do from here? Did you beat the game? Yes. But if you're a Bleach fan, then you're entitled for a lifetime. Ryan doesn't stop here. My name is Skulls, and today I'll go over my ideal checklist for a veteran player. If you're new to Bleach Brave Souls, then I highly recommend my Spirit Orbs guide. Link is in the description. First things first, you log in and are greeted with 20 droplets. Now what? Make your way to Brave Battles, because you have PvP tickets to use up. Those 5 PvP tickets will reward you with 5 normal tickets and 5 PvP medals. That's an extra 5 for the real meat of the game. After PvP, you can go to using your free 5 times run from co-op. If you have yet to awaken your epic grid familiar with ideal substats, then I suggest using it there. Now, you should be left with 55 tickets to use. Want 10 to 20 extra? Watch the ads in the shop. Did you get the 5 star ticket in the point event? What about the special move source? If there is a special move source available. This will vary depending on the event. If you said no to either of these questions, then you should prioritize all your tickets in the point event. If you are dedicating all your tickets in the point event, then reaching the desired rewards will only take a few days. But then what? Prioritize epic raids next. Buy out the shop and re-roll your familiar substats. The raid will always be in rotation, so it will be forever until the familiar comes around again. Better to get it done now. Point event and epic raids are done. What's next? If you classify yourself as a vet, then I assume all your characters are level 200. To further enhance your characters, you should be farming link slot potions. 10 10 10 used to be my standards, but honestly, 15 15 15 isn't that much longer to farm, and it greatly strengthens your characters. My only exception to reach 20 20 20 is for those characters that are 5 out of 5. Even then, I'll be very picky. With equal amount of priority as link slots, you could also be doing your monthly chronicle quest grind for transcendence items. When the Sankaimon comes around every month, that is also required for the veteran status. If you have all the special Sankaimon characters, then for fun you could also try to speedrun each tower, as it will be a nice flex displayed on your account. To wrap up the day, have a cooldown with your 3 guild quest runs. Finally, some extra bonuses is to keep an eye on your event orders for some extra items. And if you're feeling daring, go ahead and place a marina. I believe that should cover every basis that is left for a veteran player. If I forgot anything or have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Again, if you haven't checked out my spirit orbs guide, I highly recommend it. Link is in the description. And until next time.